Hi everyone, it's Glenn here with you today. In this tutorial, we'll be showing young designers how easy it is to go from a rectangle shape, a rectangular prism, to a handbag. And then, by tweaking just a few details, how lots of different looks can be achieved. Enjoy! I found all of these designs on the internet and made some sketches. Copying other people's drawings is a great way to learn the skills of drawing and that's what you'll need to start and design your own. Next I'm generating a cube to get started. If you don't remember how to draw a cube then maybe have a look back at one of the earlier tutorials. It's three quick steps. Now that I've got a cube, I'm going to make it a bit narrower. I'm sliding the paper in to help me decide how narrow I want it. Place a mark. Draw a line. I'm using the edge of the splat to draw a vertical line. Which of these three edges will you use to copy that line on an angle? Got it. That's called the right splat angle. Nice. Now we'll erase those lines that we don't need. Here I'm planning the shoulder strap. Let's do a light line. Then firm it in when you're sure. I'm going to give it some thickness. Let me show you a trick here. Imagine that you've got that line and you're sliding it on the left splat angle. And that's the second line that I'm going to draw in in a moment. It's on the far side of that line, comes up and finishes again on the far side of the line. A little line at the top to join those two arches together. That's looking great. I'm going to have the bottom of my bag sloping outwards a bit. So I'm joining two dots to the tippy top give myself a new line at the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the other side. A dot there to the top and join. Those are the lines that I don't need anymore. I'm drawing it in. I'm using my hand. Because it's made out of leather, it won't be like exactly ruler-like straight lines. And a little bit of a curve in at the bottom there. Here I could imagine little pockets. I could have something in the pockets. You could draw some zips. It is totally up to you what you can imagine inside the bag. That little uh, line could be the brand of the bag. Often it's in a prominent position. And a little piece of metal hardware there to attach the strap to the bag. Design two. We're starting off drawing just the right-hand side of the cube. Then, using those three points, I'm going to draw a line on the left splat angle. So we're saving time here by not having to draw the whole cube. Just like before, I'm deciding how wide I want it. This is more of a satchel type one, so we'll go a little bit thinner. Right splat and then vertical. If you've managed to keep up to there the first time, then that is awesome, well done. If not, just keep practicing. You'll get there. Now I'm drawing the flap of leather that goes over the top. Notice at the very top, the lines are curved as it kind of flops over. I've erased the sharp corners and I'm hand drawing in a softer look. Now to join the handle. Here's a piece of metal, a little ring, and a joiner. Another ring of metal, and through that I'm drawing a little loop of leather. Imagine a line that just comes down, touches the table, and then ducks back behind the bag. What about the other line? Well, let me show you the first one. If I slide that on my left splat angle, there, that's the line that we now have to draw. 
The corners all line up with the splat angle, like that and that. Great. Decide where you would like to have the logo. If you were designing this, where would you like to see your logo or your brand? Design number three. Let's start off in the same way. We're generating the right side of the cube. But for this one, I'm going to make it not as high. So I've drawn a second line on the right splat angle. Same as before, find those three corners and draw a left splat line. Copy your vertical, copy your right splat line. And it's a different shape, but it's still a rectangular prism. I'm drawing my curve at the top first, and then a really light line showing the little flap that comes over the top. Here I'm playing around with rounding it and maybe having a curve on that bottom edge. It really is the small differences in designs that give them their interesting and unique look. It's like human faces. We only need some small changes for um, someone's look to be totally unique. I might angle that bottom line as well. Let's use a chain shoulder strap on this one. A piece of metal where we're joined. Now imagine a line that comes down to the table, maybe does a little loop, and then disappears behind. The trick then is to draw lots of overlapping little circles along that guideline. Speed things up there a little. Add a little bit of grey pencil and you're done. Now it's time to firm in your lines with a nice neat line. Later you'll decide on what colour, texture and pattern that you might have in your design. Let's start the fourth drawing in the same way. But now I'm going to taper it down. Taper means it gets thinner as it goes down. So I'm tapering in the sides. Towards the bottom corners, I'm going to chop those corners off. Rub out what we don't need. Okay, now, same as before. Each corner takes a left splat line all the way around. Each corner has a left splat line coming back. Let's remove that because I'm going to make this one even more challenging. I'm tapering it towards the top now. So it becomes thinner as it gets higher. Once you've got the basic shape, we don't want those square corners. We want to round those off. This handle is fabric, and here is where I'd sew it on, to those two points. To draw the handle, let's go from the outside and plan a much shorter grab handle this time. Darken it in. Now here's the trick. Go wide, touch the line at the top, and then wide again at the bottom. That way it looks like where you grab it with your hand, the fabric has moved sideways. It's more comfortable. Let me show you how we draw the other handle. We're going to slide on the left splat angle again, and it's going to be just like that. So it's a copy, but slid back and up. Touch at the top, wider at the bottom. Cool. Now it's time to use your lovely hand-drawn lines to firm those in. Around the outside is the darkest line of all. You'll see here we're doing something a little bit different. We're drawing the left hand side of the cube. Imagine you're looking straight onto that square. If I take the corners off, I'm going to put some ears on there and yep, it's a kitten. Let's draw a backpack. Notice if I take the corner off and I do exactly the same thing, distance, same distance, and then I join those lines, those two lines aren't on the same angle, and that's okay. When you're drawing an isometric, they're not at the same angle as it would be straight on. 
All right, same as before though. Each corner has a splat line coming from it. In this case, it'll be the right splat. There, there, there. Can't quite see that last one. That's okay. Now we're going to copy that line a little bit further over. Copy the line. Sometimes these are called partner lines. And boom. That's the basic shape of our backpack. Now you can draw in whatever type is you want depending on the animal that you're basing your design on, if that's what you're doing. Let's just have a bit of fun with it. To get the eyes level, you really have to use this left splat. Remember, left splat really means level when you're drawing it on an angle like this. Let's draw some eyes. I'm going to drop a line halfway down to help me get the nose in the middle. And that's a mouth. And if I haven't done a good enough job, maybe the whiskers would make it look a little bit more like a cat. Time to round the corners off a little. I always draw lightly so that when it comes time to erase those lines and redraw, it's much easier. Can you guess what this line is? It's a double line that comes all the way around the side. You said a zip, you are spot on. So many different bags just on a rectangular prism. It's so easy. Here's a little squiggly line. Any shape's okay for the strap. The main thing is do a copy of it the same shape. below if you'd like me to do a tutorial based on some different shapes like triangles circles have fun practice bye